This video tutorial shows how to collect data inside the Sarvi123 app using a sample Sarvi form and send an offline survey. Note that you will have a different survey for your project, but the steps for your survey will be similar to this example. Step 1. Go to the Survey123 app on your phone. There, you will see our sample survey, Project Grow Survey Training, under my Surveys tab, which we downloaded in our previous session. On your device, the survey that you downloaded previously will appear in the list. Step 2. Click the survey you wish to use and a new tab will open where you will see a collect button at the bottom of your phone screen. We will select the project grow survey training options. Step 3. To begin data collection, click that collect button. Step 4. Survey will now open and you may begin to collect the data. On the first page of the survey, you will see the introduction note about the survey. Below that, you will see the first question, do you want to take part in this survey? Hopefully, the participant is willing to say yes. If not, the survey will end, but if they say yes, check that option. Step 5. To continue the survey and go to the next page, click the small arrow shown at the bottom right of your screen. Step 6. The second page of this survey has questions related to the household members. Here, you will see select one type of question, for example, gender, age, and text type question, for example, head of household name. Fill the text box and select an answer for the remaining questions by scrolling down. Step 7. Click the small arrow shown at the bottom right of your screen to keep going. Step 8. Now you are on the third page of this survey. On the top of the page, you will see a question where you can collect the outline of your land or parcel on a map. Under collect the outline of the land, you will see a rectangular map symbol inside a small circle. Click that symbol. Step 9. A new tab will appear on the screen with the street view map as the default map. You can change this base map by clicking the logo with maps inside four small squares located at the top right side panel of your screen. Click that tab to change the base map. In this example, we will select the world imagery map. Step 10. Now, zoom into the location where you want to trace the property outline on the map. You can either use your fingers to zoom in or out, or you can use the plus and minus sign on the side panel of the screen. Step 11. Now, click the small polygon logo on the bottom left part of your screen. Click that and the blue circle will start blinking. Now you are ready to trace the outline of your property or land. Touch your screen around the parcel or land of which you want to collect the boundary. Do it either in a clockwise or anticlockwise direction. In our case, we are taking six different points around the parcel that makes this parcel. Step 12. After you are done drawing the full outline, you will see a small polygon symbol with a check mark at the bottom right part of your screen. Click that symbol and then click the small check mark at the same location to finalize the newly drawn parcel. This will take you back to the third page of the survey. Step 13. If you scroll down this page, you will see more questions. Some questions give the option to select multiple choices like land use type, 
and others only allow for one response to be selected. Near the bottom of this page, there are question types where you can take a photo of the land. Fill in all the answers to the questions on this page before you move to the next page. Step 14. To go to the next page, click the small arrow at the bottom right of your screen. Step 15. You are now on the final page of this survey. You can see a question type where you can record audio by pressing on the microphone. Take the signature of the respondent in the signature box and record the date of the survey. After filling in these final pieces of information, you are ready to end the survey. Then click the small check mark shown at the bottom right of your screen. Step 16. After you click that check mark, a pop up will appear with three different options. The options are Send Now, Continue the Survey, and Save the Survey in the Outbox. If you have access to the internet at the end of each survey, you can click Send Now and send the survey right away. If you do not have internet or cellular access when you finish a survey, you will click Save this survey in the Outbox. Right now, let's click the latter option. Step 17. After you click Save the survey in the Outbox, you will be back to the screen where we started the survey. But this time, you will see the Outbox tab under Collect. You will see one survey inside that, indicated with the number 1 in the top left part of the Outbox icon. When you are in a place with an internet connection, select the Outbox tab and then click the Send button on the bottom right of your screen. Step 18. After you send the survey from the Outbox, you will be back on the screen where you see the Send tab under the Collect tab. You will now find one survey under the Send tab. Step 19. You can begin to collect the next survey by pressing the collect button.